Madden Football brings you the divisional round of the NFL playoffs and is brought to you by EA Sports. It's the Vikings and the Lions on Sunday night primetime. EA Sports coverage of the National Football League is on the air. But just ahead, we'll decide the second entrant to next week's NFC title game. But we've got a great one in store. As it'll be the Minnesota Vikings taking on the Detroit Lions. Hello, everyone. As the postseason continues here on EA Sports, we're pleased to bring it to you. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gauden. And who has the edge here? You got one side that had some extra rest, but another comes in off a win last week in the wild card round. And it's funny, depending on which team you are, you say that that's an advantage. You'll take the rest. You'll take the week off. Get your guys healed up a little bit and ready to go. But that team that's coming in off of a win last week, they're really excited to keep playing. They feel like they are hot and ready to go. Who will punch the fourth and final ticket to the conference championship round? We'll know soon enough as we are underway here on a January afternoon. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. So here's the Viking offense making their way out. And they will be led out by their rookie quarterback. All in all, he was pretty solid in the victory in the wild card round and threw a couple of touchdowns. And when it comes to quarterback play, you'd always love spectacular. But in the playoffs, you'll take solid. And that's exactly what they're looking for from him again in this contest. Throwing to start the drive. Parker, a uh, short one here, caught by McBride. And he'll get this up past the 25 before he's out of bounds. Ball on the 27 here, second and six. Looking to throw. Parker. And this throw incomplete. Well, the defender all over him that time, but it's going to lead to third down. They are in need of six yards here if they hope to move the chains. Throw on third down. And that will be incomplete as well. That's the first third down try of the game, and clearly something was off in the execution of that play. Good news, they've got a whole game left to clean that up and start clicking on those key third down throws. The punt team on now as Pinion sends this one away. It's taken to the 26. A pretty good punt, but a nice 13 yard return. And the Lions will take over. So out comes this offense to take over for the first time. And they'll be led out by their quarterback now in his third season in the league. And he and his team, they were the beneficiaries of a first-round bye earned by a tremendous regular season. He'd been a little bit nicked up, so he could use the rest. And I'm sure his teammates felt the exact same way. But now it'll be interesting to watch their first few drives in this one. There he goes left side. And he is out of bounds inside the 35. Over to the Well, that one hurts. That wipes away what would have been a big play. But you and I both know coaches aren't real big on silver linings. But at least that play call was a successful one. Now the focus offensively, that goes to overcoming the penalty and making all that yardage back again. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Now second and nine. Back to throw. Here's Richardson. That throw taken in by Jamison Williams. And they get to him after a gain of six to the 46. They'll come up now, third and three. Now Richardson. And it's a short one here, complete to the tight end. And he's going to have a Lions first down. They needed three, he doubled that, he got six. But they kept it simple there, CD, only needing the short gain to move the chain, so they didn't want to go with a deep throw, they just go with that safer, shorter throw and able to convert. Nothing wrong with that at all, partner. Check the box, right? Make sure you pick up the first down. Offense is getting established. You're moving the ball. You're not turning it over. Check, check, check. They like what they're doing early in the game. They'll get eight on the scramble there. It'll be second and a couple.
Here's Richardson to throw. And his throw is going to be incomplete. I wouldn't be shocked at all right now because a look of surprise on the big fellow's face because he had the route that he wanted running the corner. And usually he's able to use his body and catch the football. But a really nice play by the defenders. Able to knock it away. And he is going to have a Lions first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Now, during that run, an injury here. We've got one of those big blockers in some discomfort. So first and ten now from the 30. It's a short one here, complete to his tight end. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. That was a lightning fast decision that time. He just caught it and got rid of it. Because he saw his guy was going to be open immediately. So he took the R, the run, out of the play. He took the O, the option, out of the play. And immediately got to the pass. And in for the Lions. Touchdown. A 22-yard touchdown run. And the Lions are on the board first here in this division round matchup. Well, we knew they had the crowd on their side. Their defense has already made a stop, and now here's an opening drive touchdown. Yeah, how about the defense making the stop, offense feeling their momentum that they've generated, and turning it into points on their side. So now you've got a team working together, and they've got the crowd involved fully on their side in this ballgame. And in this playoff atmosphere, that 12th man means even more. You always worry about the plant foot in the snow, but no problems there. And it's now a 7 0 game. Tucker down to kick it away following the touchdown. And he won't get this to the 20 yard line as he's down at the 19. The Vikings offense now heading out to take over. And for them, maybe a little carryover from last week's game. They got the win on the road in the wild card round. On the road here again in the divisional round. But they're hanging tough. Hey, cue a little music, right? A little out on the road again. I mean, this has been kind of the match for the right now. And they can't change it. The season dictated what would happen with them, right? They had to go on the road for their first round for the playoff. They're on the road again. And sometimes teams get really comfortable with that. Not only the idea of going on the road and shocking the world, but just, hey, it's just us. We have to worry about outside distractions. It's just us. It's going to Becomes that us against the world mentality, doesn't it? And then maybe overplay, you know, in the media, it's real when it comes time to play ball. and it was Kyler Gordon getting in there for the sack. Here's Bradley Pinion now as the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. 46 on his first kick, this one in that neighborhood as well. And he'll take it just outside the 40. It'll be a 51-yard punt that time. And that will come the offense as they take over. Back onto the field come the Lions for their second overall drive. They've got the 7-0 lead. Now they've got the football back after their defense got the stop, CD. And you get the feeling if they could score here, they'd really have all the momentum on their side. And you just wonder right now, is the quarterback and the play caller totally in sync? Are they have one mind that, hey, what worked last time? Let's keep doing it until they stop us. Or do they go to a different section in the playbook, show them something different? Either way, they want a repeat of their first drive. And he's down right around midfield after a gain of two, maybe three. They'll see about converting this third and eight. There, Richardson back to throw it. The Vikings after him, and they get there for the sack. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. And this is what you've got to do against a quarterback like him. You've got to keep him in the pocket and not let him get to the perimeter because once he gets outside, that's where he can really hurt you. On fourth down, Ryan Stonehouse on to punt. Fair catch signal for it and taken at about the 15-yard line. A 41-yard punt there with no return. And the Vikings will take over here first and 10.
throwing to start the drive. Parker, man open, that's Debo Samuel. And he works it across the 25 before being tackled. Debo Samuel, it's a game of 10. And the Vikings first down. A first carry for Elijah Mitchell. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. Now a second and ten. No gain on the play. Second and ten at the 26-yard line. Back to throw. Parker to the right side. It's caught by Mitchell. And they'll bring him down at the 27-yard line. They do get a yard there, but only a yard. Leaves on the third and nine. from the gun. Parker. He's got his target. That's complete. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. 27 yards there on a very nice third down conversion. I love that play because in the snow you think run, run, run. Big passing play there. And defenders hate it, especially in open space because trying to come under control, break down and make a tackle in the open field, difficult in normal conditions. In these conditions, Almost impossible. Here's Parker on first and ten. That's to Mitchell out of the backfield. Just a gain of a couple there. And that's going to bring up second down. Brings up second and eight at the Lions 44 yard line. Back to throw again. I uh, sure would here caught by McBride. That'll go for a gain of seven. And it'll leave him with third and a full yard to go. Now try and pick it up with Mitchell. And he's going to get to the 31, enough for the first down. Seven yards there, good enough to move the sticks. They had yet to run the ball at all on this drive, but third and short, definitely was a great time to dial one up. On first down, they go back to Mitchell to the 27-yard line. I think that's the type of run we'll continue to see throughout this game. The snow coming down, I don't expect a lot of big plays to be broken. Now Parker looking to throw on second down. Under pressure, and he will go down. Sent back at the 38. Ed Oliver, what an effort from him on that play. Big tackle for a loss of 11. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And that will be incomplete. They couldn't hook up. And what's going to be the final play of this first quarter? After one, seven, nothing on EA Sports. The Vikings with the football here to begin the second quarter. As they've got it with a fourth down coming up. And this one is no good. He missed it. These playoff games have a tendency to be tight. You have to wonder if that missed field goal could haunt him later. Yeah, we're always looking for the key plays, right? The ones that we're going to magnify. Usually those happen in the second half or later in the game. This might be the key play of the game showing up here in the first half. Now they're set up nicely at the 45-yard line after the missed field goal from 55. Richardson's throw going into the hands of Williams. And this will be good for a pickup of nine to the 46. From the 46, here's second down and one. On the give, here's Gibbs. And he'll be taken down at the 44-yard line. Able to get the one yard he needed, but nothing more. Richardson looking to throw. Finds Gibbs on a check down. And they go backwards here. Losing yardage back at the 48-yard line. Not what they had in mind there. That's going to go as a loss of four. Second down. Here's Richardson. Pressure coming from the Vikings. And they get there and bring him down. It'll go as a loss of about six. And now it brings up third. From the shotgun, Richardson. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. 
One first down here, and that's all, folks. Good work by this defense to hold things in check and force a punting situation. Here's Ryan Stonehouse now as he'll punt it away for the second time. Now a high kick, almost a pooch punt. And no return on this one as the fair catch is signaled for and taken. Just 34 yards on the punt there, no return. And the Vikings will be backed up deep to begin their drive as they take over first and 10. Parker throwing to start the drive. And here's Mitchell with a catch out of the backfield. Nothing on that one. It'll be second down. That's a nice job defensively to make sure everyone was accounted for because ordinarily you pick up the guys downfield and sometimes you forget about the running back. In this case, they did not and dropped him for no gain. Throw right side is going to be caught by Samuel. Four yards the gain and it'll bring up a third down. Looking to throw. Parker. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. Ball in one of the line and on the other side has got it. And the field position doesn't get much better than this. They'll have it first and goal at the eight-yard line. That feels like an accumulation of the pressure we've seen all game. I mean, he's been on the turf a whole lot because of sacks. Eventually, something else happens as well. And this time, it was a turnover. Yeah, caught up to him. Detroit's offense ready to take over. And they start in the best of all positions. First and goal. The defense gets him the ball via the turnover. Now can this offense cash in? First and goal. Throw left side caught by LaPorta. Touchdown! Sam LaPorta from eight yards out. And the Lions are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. Tucker able to connect on the extra point. And that'll make the score 14 to 0. And he'll elect not to return this one, so they'll bring it out to the 25 on the touchback. Minnesota's offense takes over possession. And this not an easy situation. You're down early in the elements, you're on the road. How do you get the mojo back? Well, one thing is to remember that as an offensive player, you have a much better idea of what you're trying to accomplish and where you're trying to go than the defender. So in this case, because you know it, you can make your cuts with a little more decisiveness, maybe a second fake, some double moves, things of that nature, to go ahead and try and put some pressure on the defense. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. Now, with a rookie quarterback out there, you're definitely going to find out how he handles adversity because this one so far hasn't gone according to plan. Show him what he's made of. Out of the gun now on third down. And that will be incomplete. The passing game not in sync here early. And now it's fourth down. Well, based on what we've seen so far, I don't think you even call this an off day anymore, partner, because this group we're watching, they are totally out of rhythm trying to get their game plan up and running. That zero on the scoreboard is glaring down at them with every incompletion. It'll be just an 18-yard punt, and it will be first to 10 as they take over. Here's the Detroit offense now as they head back out onto the field. And thus far, the weather has not slowed this offense down one bit. They've looked good so far in the first half. They certainly have, and think back to our meeting with the head coach, and we asked him because we saw the forecast for this game, didn't we? He's got a man complete! continue to show why it pays to play at home in the postseason as they add on to their lead. Well, he didn't find the end zone a whole lot in his rookie campaign, but he's got himself a touchdown here in the playoffs. And it shows off his big playability, too, because we saw this quite a bit in college, and it certainly continued here at the next level. Another explosive play for a guy who's made a ball season long. Tucker with the extra point, and it's now 21 to nothing. Well, the offense wasn't out there for a long time, but they were out there for a good time. One play, and they're able to hit pay dirt. And out now come the Vikings. One semi-factor, if you want to call it that, that was brought up in the papers this morning here, Charles. You got a dome team on the road in a cold-weather environment first round of the playoffs in January. Do you think that's a big deal? 
Ordinarily, I say no, but in this situation, because you're That's used to that appearance. perfectly Deep controlled deep. environment, some coaches will want their teams exposed to it. And if you're coming from a warm weather place and, you know, even getting outside of your dome doesn't really help you, a lot of times they'll go on the road a little bit earlier. Go to a cold weather place, go to a place where there's a little bit of weather and practice there that week before the game to try and simulate the conditions they expect on game day. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Here's second and ten. Throwing again, Parker, and under the Lions' pressure, he's brought down. Kyle Gordon, that is now two sacks for him here in this first half. Well, Charles, this has been something to watch so far. This is where you really feel for a quarterback. He's been running for his life in this first half. Brandon, that's five sacks already, so you know he's got to be saying, can we get some more guys in here to block, please? Because if we don't, we're going to need another quarterback. The offense on third down tonight, lacking much success, just two for seven to this point. This will be third and forever. Back to throw. Parker. Oh, the pressure too great, and he goes down once more. Multiple defenders get to him there, and that is the sixth time he's been sacked in this ballgame. I'm starting to wonder if this offensive line just simply doesn't like him. I mean, they've given up six sacks in this game. He's had nowhere to go, nowhere to run, and obviously nowhere to hide. And all those sacks in the first half, this is just complete domination. So on now is the Clemson man, Bradley Pinion, to punt this one away. Yeah, that'll be taken just outside the 40. 43-yard punt, but they get nine back on the return. And this offense will take over right at the midfield stripe with a first and 10. Another shot now for this Lions offense. Well, partner, you know, coaches always say that every play is designed to score a touchdown. Sometimes that's not really true, but last drive, that was the case. One play to get into the end zone, and now they'll try to duplicate that success here. And it's rare for those moments to happen. Incredible when they do. And you saw the celebration. Pure, unbridled joy after that one. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. And it's a short one here, complete to the tight end. They'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. Richardson. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man to play. And he is going to have a Lions first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Good strong throw and catch right there. And so far in this game, the alleys have been open for them to get completions, and they're taking advantage of it. They go play action with Richardson. And he's going to go down here, a sack. They push him back to the 34. Now whistles and a timeout. Looks like we've got a Viking slow to get up. Well, now they're going to come out and take a look at this injury, and we'll be back in a moment. Sacks, a growing theme in this first half. This is second and long. And they'll run it with Gibbs. And they won't fare much better here as he maybe gets back to the line. Nothing there, no gain, and now they're looking at a third and 15. Richardson looking to throw this. And down he goes. They sack him back right around the 41-yard line. They overload him that time on the safety blitz, and he winds up being dropped for a loss of seven. So that now four first-half sacks. This pass rush has been unrelenting. The partner, you hear that sound of paper being ripped to shreds? That's the game plan that they've had so far because they've got to say to themselves right now, we have to do something differently. Two sides to every coin. This is the bad side of missing the 58-yarder. Now they start at the 48. To throw is Parker on first down. That's Samuel caught left side. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. 
Second quarter action, two minutes to go on divisional round weekend. A reminder, as we did all through the regular season, we'll check in with Jonathan Coachman at halftime. He'll have highlights and analysis of this first half of play. Throwing again on second down, but this time it's incomplete. Fair to say, hasn't been his best game throwing the football, but also not getting a lot of help out there either. Yeah, you kind of you nailed it pretty well, you know. He's got to throw it better, got to get more help. Obviously one that should have been caught. They got to find a way to bring those, those two elements together so they can make some progress in this one. This defense has certainly played well so far in this game, and the coverage has been tight on just about every throw. Forced a few here so far in this game, and now it brings up fourth down. Fair catch called for and made at the 16 or maybe the 17-yard line. That'll go down as just a 20-yard punt. And they will take over first and 10. Now it's Richardson. Well, this is caught by Williams. Had a nice job to break free of one tackle, but it slowed his momentum somewhat, and he's taken down right after. Now second and five. Back to throw. Here's Richardson. And his throw here is going to be incomplete. And that drop will cause a little bit of angst for the play caller because you know they've worked all week game planning and flexing the tight end out and making him a matchup issue for the defense. They have what they wanted, and he drops the ball. Well, he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. A big play that time on the catch and run. 31 yards. Well, he looked his way quite a bit in this first half, and with good reason. You can see it there. He is such a handful defensively, just too hard to keep him under wraps. He delivers a big play here for this offense. First and ten, it's Richardson. Oh, a first mistake for him in the ball game as it's intercepted. Picked up by Devin Witherspoon. So that potentially an important takeaway here in this second quarter. Because what it does is give their offense a chance to put a drive together. They've got nothing on the scoreboard so far, so you have to think that they need something before the break. And now they have an opportunity. The Vikings going to take over now late in this first half. And now following that turnover, they've got an opportunity here to try to cash in with good field position before intermission. Parker now. Throwing on first down. A uh, short one here, caught by McBride. So five yards here, five on the play, and it's second down. The Vikings going to signal for the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with just under 50 seconds remaining in half number one. Here's Parker to throw on second down. Open man is Samuel, complete. And he's going to be taken down right at the 10-yard line. And I don't think there's any question that this offense is going to need to hit on a few more plays like this. It's been a difficult first half for them, to say the least. And I do believe if they want to get back in this game, they need to start right now. It's kind of like making adjustments. If you try to wait until the half, it's probably too late. They need to get going right here. Now a throw to the end zone on first down, but it winds up incomplete. I'm really liking what I'm seeing from this defense because their coverage has been playing at a shutdown level so far. Even backed up late, they're forcing incompletions and fighting to keep them out of the end zone as the first half winds down. Another throw on second down, and this one incomplete as well. A misconnection there. He's had just 50% of his passes thus far. That's not where you want to be. Now you see the evolution of the game. You go back to the quarterbacks of old, 50% would be terrific because they threw the ball downfield almost every time they threw it. Now with a short passing game, you should be above 60% just to be in the average range. Smart move to throw that one away. You're in field goal range, so you definitely don't want to be loose with the ball. And that's great work by this defense to force a fourth down. And his kick here is good. And the deficit drops now from 21 down to 18. 
So, Charles, they get to them with their first turnover of the game and then make it hurt a little bit extra with a field goal. And anytime you give the ball up, what's the first thing a coach tells his defense? Don't let them score off of this. You've got to put out the fire. In fact, in 2021, that's what one NFL coach turned his defense. The firemen. Go out there, guys, and don't let them put some points on the board. 19 seconds showing to play in the half as they come up here first and 10. They'll indeed try to run it out as they start on the ground. And defensively, they're just looking to keep him contained as they're able to get him down. So we've come upon halftime here in this NFC Divisional Round matchup. As we'll send you down to Orlando, and we check in with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. Welcome in, everyone, to our EA Sports Halftime Report. Let's get you caught up on what's going on around the NFL. We'll start up in the Pacific Northwest at Lumen Field in Seattle, where it was definitely a game with some intrigue, as you can see by the scoreline. Josh Allen over 300 yards passing in the victory with a couple of touchdown passes as well. We saw a strong first half out of the mobile quarterback, Anthony Richardson. He threw a first quarter touchdown pass, then two more in the second quarter, a three touchdown half. And he may just be getting started. And they will wrangle him down a couple yards shy of the 30. And the Lions getting set to go on offense to start the third. And they're in the position they expected to be in. They've got the lead, home crowd behind them, and they're looking toward making that next step in these playoffs. And I think a key for them is to put together some good, long, extended drives. Work to run in a little more with that big offensive line. I'm not saying get away from throwing the football. That's still working. But they run it more effectively. They make it even bigger plays in the passing game. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Second and ten. Now it's Gibbs. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. It's a game of 14 and a first down for Detroit. And that's a great run, and this is where you've got a running back who feels like he needs to take over this football game. You're in the second half, you've got the lead. You're looking at moving on to the conference championship. And he's got to be saying, just keep giving me the ball, and I'll get us home. And a solid run here as he'll pick his way down to the 42-yard line. 49 yards now on the ground on just seven carries. From Viking territory now, they'll come up first and 10 at the 42-yard line. Now Richardson. Over the middle into traffic, and that's complete. And he'll be stopped at the 35, but not before he picks up seven yards. From the 35, here's second and three. Richardson to throw off play action. And he'll work it inside the 30 to the 29-yard line. Maybe not exactly what they had in mind, but that scramble good for six and a first down. Off play action, Richardson. That's to the tight end, Laporta. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Just need a yard here, second and one. Two catches in the first half, now he's got a third here and it's good for a first. Richardson off the play fake. And he can't find anywhere to go with it. And he goes down. Larry Ogunjobi in for the sack. This is a little hard for me to compute because I'm watching sack after sack happen. But somehow they're still behind in the game. I would expect all of this defensive pressure to translate to them taking a lead. And thus far, it hasn't happened. Time's winding down. They don't want to waste this type of performance from these ace pass rushers. Pass protection has been a problem all night long as they come up facing second and a bundle. That's complete to the Porta. So give him two yards there on the completion. And they're going to be staring at a third and long here. 
A tall task ahead of him here, needing a full 15 yards to move the chains. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. This to the portal right side. Ooh, the juke. But he's down inside the five at the four before he's out of bounds. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. A lot of deflating looks on that defense. It seems like they just could not find a way to get a key stop on third down. Here's another conversion, and now this offense, they're in a position to go up even further as they've got it first and goal. And he'll be stopped about a yard shy of the goal line after a pickup of about three. Second and goal from the one. Richardson looking to throw. And it's intercepted at the goal line. Picked up by Jesse Bates. And the Vikings are going to get the football here as he gets this up to the 38-yard line. So it was a drive that had real promise here to begin the third quarter, but ultimately derailed by the INT. And that was the position you wanted to be in, coming out to start this third quarter, get a nice drive going, looking for the end zone. Possibly got a little bit too greedy right there. It's the Vikings' turn on offense. We get ready for their first possession of the second half. Now they just got a little help from their defense forcing the turnover. Now can they make that pay off in points? They need to, partner. They're down on the scoreboard. Need to take advantage of those opportunities, and this is a good one right in front of them. A throw there, but that's going to wind up incomplete. And those two just haven't been in sync thus far. They've done a nice job against him, but still, with his talent, you would expect them to have more completions to him in this game. And second and ten, he'll look to throw again. A short one here, caught by McBride. And he'll be out of bounds after getting this one across the 40. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Out of the gun, they'll look to throw. And this is going to be incomplete. Looks like another empty possession offensively. And you're at that point in the game where you can't afford too many more of these. So this is going to require some heavy thinking on the sideline to figure out what they can do to crack this defense. The punt team on now as Pinion sends this one away. So a change of possession here on the punt. And the Lions will take over. And Detroit getting set to go now. And the last time out, they had the good drive going. You get in the red zone. They throw the interception. Not their first pick of the game either. So we'll see if they're more careful, more cautious here on this drive. Yeah, nothing worse than repeat mistakes, right? You end up copping the ball off. You end up throwing a pick. Everything goes awry. And now, points don't go up on the board. I just heard a fan scream out. I thought the idea was to score points. Yeah, they're getting a little restless, too. Ball on the 47-yard line. Here's second down and three. They'll bring a receiver in motion right. Second down, and they go back to Gibbs. It's a loss of four. Now third down. I know they've got to be careful not to go to the well too often, but it's a fine line, isn't it? Because sometimes, if you've got success, you want to just keep pounding away. But no success there. They rallied quickly on the defensive end. On third down, here's Richardson. He's going to get that to his running back out of the backfield. And he is going to have a Lions first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. This is a nice job of just taking what the defense is going to give you on third down. You're not looking for a big play downfield. You just want to find something that can get you past the marker. They found it and were able to keep the drive moving. And now whistles here and a flag down. Looked like someone got going a little early. All start offense. Well, this whole line's been great. They've got the big lead, so give them a pass there, I guess. Yeah, I would think so, because if we were grading them on their performance in this game, a lot of pluses in their boxes so far. Yeah, Richardson back to throw it. Over the middle and taken in by Lapuda. Now he's got this to the 30 before being taken down. Called out a very strong gain of 24. Here's Richardson to throw. A quick throw, but incomplete. 
This could be the start of a nice stand from this defense now after getting walked backwards on this drive. Come through with another one here, and you have them staring at a third and long, and that puts the defense in a position to dictate to the offense. Again, it's Richardson. They'll find Williams on the slam. That'll leave him with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. Richardson. He's got his target. That's complete. And he'll go out of bounds in the red zone just inside the 20. They call his number again. It's his sixth catch and a first down. Would it be safe to say that as precise as routes are supposed to be run in the NFL, maybe they're not quite as precise in college ball? That's accurate, yeah. And I think we saw a college route in the NFL there. Just find the soft spot, find the dead zone, and find the first down. And that's what he just did. Now I think we're going to get a timeout here. Yes, a timeout here as it looks like we've got a lion that's shaken up. The medical staff is going to come out here and take a look, and we will take a short break. Second and ten here as we sit in the third quarter of this divisional round matchup. Straight ahead with Gibbs here, and he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. It'll go as a loss of a yard, so now they deal with third and 11. Brings up third down and 11. Richardson looking to throw this. And that is incomplete. But the pressure there on third down, forcing the errant pass. Fourth down coming up. They converted twice on third down that drive already, but couldn't make it a third. We always talk about in-game adjustments. How about what the defense did there, able to shut them down on that attempt? Tucker's kick is good. And the lead up to three touchdowns now. It's 24-3. to three. Now three more points tacked on, and this margin getting more comfortable by the minute. And with the lead where it is, you can actually feel good about field goals. We talk all the time about scoring sixes, not threes. But in this case, they're just looking to chew up some time and come away with points. Now the Minnesota offense set to take over again. And here we are almost through three quarters of play, and this passing game still has not really found any kind of rhythm. Put it mildly, because they're not even over 100 yards yet. And in today's NFL, where it's a pass-first league, that is quite surprising. Not many teams patient enough to stick with the run. Everybody wants to advance the ball through the air. They've got to get their timing back. Now he'll look to throw here on second and 10. That's Samuel caught left side. One quarter remains for a trip to the NFC title game. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. Back now here on EA Sports. A lot of happy faces in the crowd at this point as their guys have a big lead here to start quarter number four. Looking to throw. Parker. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. It's a gain of 26 as they pick up the first down of the process. A three-score game here late. You can probably rule out the comeback, but Certainly some kind of a moral victory to be had if they can get a few more points to close things out. And to that end, a nice pass play there to push things downfield. Yeah, and we know in this league, a loss is a loss, and no one wants anything to count as a moral victory or, boy, something that feels a little bit cheap. But if they trim that lead down to just two scores, that's still a benefit to this squad. Yeah, that's good for a gain of six, and that'll make it second down. At the 36-yard line. Back to throw again. This is taken in by McBride. And he'll get this one down to about the 20-yard line. They call his number again. It's his sixth catch and a first down. Again, he'll drop to throw. Got his man, Dell. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And they'll be left with a second and about a foot. Now they try the right side here. 
And now they're inside the 10 as he's brought down at the 9. Just a gain of a yard, but it's going to set him up with a first and goal. Operating from the gun, Parker. Left side, that's caught by Mitchell. And he's able to work it here to the 8-yard line. A minimal gain there on the 8th play of the drive. Here's second and goal, operating from the 8-yard line. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Picked by Jeff Okuda. And the Lions are going to have it here at their own nine-yard line. He's had a fantastic rookie season, made a lot of lovely throws, but that wasn't one of them. But we got to give him one, don't we? I mean, with the year he's having, a lot easier for he and his teammates to accept that throw because for the most part, what they've seen, it's been pretty sensational. So out now come the Lions. And this one not officially in the bag, but it's looking more and more like you and I are going to be in these same seats next week for a game to go to the Super Bowl. And it's contrary to our meeting with the, with the visitors, wasn't it? Remember when we went over to their hotel before the game and one of the themes that kept hitting us with was let's put a pressure on the number one seed and see if they can handle it. Let's, let's do that. Well, they're the number one seed for a reason. Best team all year long. They're showing it again in this game. They show run with three tight ends here on first down. Another run for Gibbs here. And hit behind the line. He lost the football. It's loose. Oh, and one of the linemen on the other side has got it. I don't care what the scoreboard says, partner. You know who's winning this game right now? Mother Nature? Yes, <laughs> indeed. Precipitation's winning in a big way. Sloppy, sloppy. All these turnovers right now. Yeah, well, this was the forecast. We got what was forecasted, and we've gotten a lot of turnovers. The Vikings, and now before the ball changes hands, they're going to take a look at this just to make sure that they have it right. Now the question, was the knee in fact down before this ball comes loose? And is the video convincing enough to overturn it? A lot of factors here. Remember, you also need clear possession of the football afterwards. This is a tough one to overturn. So that one overturned. They say the knee was down, and that will not be ruled a fumble. A quick throw there out to Williams. And this will go as a gain of seven as he gets it to the 30-yard line. The offense on third down. Well, they've converted seven times and could use another right now. Here it's third and three. Now it's Richardson. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. Give him three yards there on the first down pickup. He's been the go-to guy. They needed a big play there on third down. Went his way. It worked out. Doesn't matter whether they've scouted him or that they think he's going to get the ball. He has a knack for finding his way open and completing the connection. And he finds a little bit of room, enough for four yards. It'll be second down. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from walking down the game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. 78 yards on the ground for him now as he's done that on 15 carries. First down. First and 10 at the 44 yard line. Now run by Gibbs. Oh, he's got some breathing room. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. That one, 28 yards on the ground. Starting to look like this drive, it may be the final nail in the coffin. Well, this is why you work out so hard, right? This is why you spend all that time in the offseason. This is why you have those OTAs and mini camps for these situations, these scenarios, to run someone into the ground and secure a victory. Gibbs straight ahead, down at the 25. He's had success on this drive, but not on this play. Finally, they bowed up defensively. I think they were determined not to let him take it pretty much all the way down the field. Yeah, it looks like they handled their run responsibilities correctly this time. When we call them run fits, everyone was in the right place. Out of the gun, they'll give to Gibbs. 
Call it a gain of a couple, and that's going to leave him with a third and about five. I like it. I like the call. Still an opportunity to run the football and chew up a little more time off the clock. Richardson, shotgun on third down. He gets this out wide to Gibbs. That he won't quite make it. He needed six. He got about five. Fourth down. Now I think we're going to get a timeout here. Yes, a timeout here as it looks like we've got a lion that's shaken up. The medical staff will attend to him, and we will step aside. Going for it on fourth. Here's Richardson. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he's going to have the Lions first down. They only needed one, but it ends up being a gain of six. It moves the chains. Now Thomas. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right at a yard. It's a gain of nine. Brings up second and a yard. And they're moving on to the conference championship. How about this? What a tremendous feeling to get to the game that can get you to the Super Bowl. A fantastic season. Unfortunately for the other team, a tough, tough way for it to end. So that'll do it for us, for my partner, Charles Davis, and all the hardworking men and women on our crew. I'm Brandon Gaunt. You've been watching the NFL right here on EA Sports. So long, everybody.